Do you want a beach at your fingertips? This look is perfect for the summer, so if you want to learn how to achieve this look, keep watching. First off, we're going to start by applying a base coat to all of our nails to protect them from the nail polish and make your manicure last a little longer. Then with a light blue nail polish, apply two coats to all of your nails except the ring finger since we don't need this to be that opaque for the design we're going to do on it. For the middle finger, with a tan acrylic paint, create a squiggly line near the tip of the nail and then fill in the rest underneath it to create the sand for the beach. Wait for this coat to dry and apply a second coat to make it more opaque. To make this tan color, I mixed a little bit of yellow acrylic paint with white and a very tiny drop of red. Then for the trunk of the palm tree, I created sort of a banana shape with brown acrylic paint and a thin brush by getting the leftover tan color and adding a little bit of black to it. I didn't film it, but for the trunk, I also made a slightly darker brown and made a crisscross pattern to give it a little bit more detail. Then, with a green acrylic paint, I started adding the stem of the palm tree leaves by creating curved lines coming out from the tip of the trunk and then started adding smaller lines diagonally coming from the stems to create the leaves. With a slightly darker green acrylic paint, I outline the stems just to give it a little bit more detail. On the pinky and index finger, I created clouds with white acrylic paint and a dotting tool by creating a cluster of dots on different parts of the nail. With a thin brush and black acrylic paint, I created birds flying in the sky by making curved V-shapes for their wings. For the ring finger, I wanted to have a seafoam kind of look, so I made a light blue color and with a Q-tip, I started dabbing this color randomly along my nail. After letting that dry, I went in with a seafoam green color created by adding a little bit of yellow to that light blue color and dabbed this color also randomly along my nail, leaving some of the blue poking out from underneath. Then I just layered the two colors until I was happy with the look. To give it that seafoam look, I went over everything with a tiny bit of white acrylic paint, dabbing it randomly on my nail. And then after cleaning everything up, I finished off the design by adding a glossy top coat. If you like this look, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.